Welcome to another episode of Neon Radio Podcast. I'm Reese. I'm Dan. Stop it. I'm Declan. <laughs> this week, we are doing our first TV show. Are we? Uh, yeah. Oh, yeah, this it is. This That's is true. our very first TV show. This one. Yeah. This is my first TV show I've ever watched. Oh my really? God. <laughs> <laughs> Declan, you got to give us a deep dive into it. Um, the uh, <laughs> Don't go too deep. Oh, it's weird that uh, they haven't found colour yet on TV. It's yeah, really no. a lot of times. <laughs> <laughs> wow. <laughs> um, so this is kind of our foray into on the podcast the marvel universe properly like we've done did endgame endgame yeah yeah yeah. and i don't think we even did infinity war no we did we were we had started after infinity war the podcast yes yeah yeah Yeah. so um we do have to at some point in time get to those yeah which is (laughs) i'm all for it but jesus christ i think maybe when the next sort of big Avengers crossover movie comes out might be a good time to try and like time it leave out. it to that. Yeah, yeah. maybe. If- yeah, that's going to take six months or something. I think watching gonna- Marvel. Like Twenty we should, weeks. We should do movies. Star Wars yeah. first. Star Wars will be first. I think it's, I st- think, it's um, still a lot. <laughs> yeah. No, there was. I was trying to think that actually would be a perfect time to do Star Wars later on in the year. That I can't remember what the event was. That I was thinking. Of There's that. so many coming out mm. for Star next Wars. time that a big Star Wars thing comes out. We should try and build up to the yeah. release. Yeah. Well, there's like a lot of things like Bad Batch and yeah. Um, but like I'm talk- like maybe talking maybe Obi Wan series or something. Ah, out, okay. Yeah. Right. Something more well known. Yeah, yeah. Of the names. Hope yeah. it's good. Mm. Yeah. Um. But before we get into it, uh, a spoiler warning. We talk heavily about the plot, uh, and we go in depth with the actual stories so um if you don't want to know anything about the movie or the show in this case uh stop here and uh go to the neon radio youtube channel and check out the review there it'll be up at the same time yeah i got the worst nose today why so bad did you put your bad nose on i did yeah all right i'm just gonna we well, got Alex. Dan. yeah but no sometimes i just because i get warm I'm, I'm cool and then i get warm and uh. then like it just starts dripping just yeah. goes yeah. Um, I'll start with you, Dan. Thoughts on the first two, and that's what we're doing, the first two episodes of WandaVision, and we're going to be doing it weekly. Yeah. Um, first thing, I'm going to say Agnes is so good. The yeah. next door neighbor. Yeah, yeah, yeah. She oh, my God. She is really good. And the way... I, I even find that the the way they're uh, the acting in this is very um, bewitched. Uh, it's an old, yeah, classic show. Yeah. yeah. You guys obviously know we talked about it before. Yeah. Um, and the way they You're talking shot about the it. Nicole Kidman Wolf Farrell movie, right? Oh, wow. <laughs> I didn't even watch that. I didn't ever, <laughs> yeah. Dude, yeah. It's, it's been terrible. that long. I can't remember anything about it. <laughs> oh, like, man. you know, like, but, uh, plot or nothing. I've noticed even the way they lit it is very 50s. Yeah, With definitely. the harsh, oh, yeah. the harsh oh, it's so, lights. So purposeful. Oh, I got yeah. so much yeah. of the facts for this show it's yeah. crazy yeah. yeah i haven't looked at it so it's good that yeah, that yeah. Gone. i haven't read anything either yeah. purposely well, went in blank yeah. yeah i got some deep dives into all the information behind this Very cool. as much as i could oh uh, it's good and i was going to be honest i thought this show would be really shit <laughs> uh, but i was quite surprised and i i was smiling all the way through i actually enjoyed it yeah um even the, the 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 shifts in tone of the mo- of the show as well, like in certain parts, of the, the when you see the the darker, more the um, oh, I forgot the name. What's the bad? Uh, in the Marvel movie, what's the bad one? It's called what are they called uh, the bad ones, the bad guys, Hydra, Hydra, Hydra. yeah, oh, the little the little uh, subtle like, hints of that. There's actually hints that it's not Hydra. It's another organization behind. Oh, what's going okay. Because I saw the ads, even the well, little ads that had yeah. the Hydra One Thousand. Watch some information about oh, that. I noticed it actually yeah. when I watched it. Yeah. Okay, yeah. that's good yeah. to know. Yeah. But uh, even the little ads, like the Stark ads and the. Um, you see, because there's a sword logo that keeps appearing, and sword yeah. are another organization. Ah, right? ah okay. Yeah. See, that's but good. But there's more yeah. to that yeah. as well. Yeah. See, and, I, and I'm not like a, a superhero fan. I'm not a Star Wars fan. I'm just not a fan. I like the uh, the world and all that sci-fi stuff. I love it. But yeah. I don't deep dive as much as you guys, like, you know, Batman yeah. and all that but stuff. But you so do. Good. You do enjoy I, yourself. I've, you've yeah. done... You've, yeah. you've read your comics and yeah. stuff, a few yeah. of them here a and there. A few of them. But I'm not... Um, uh, what's the word? Well knowledgeable about... Yeah, uh, you... I don't go too deep into it. Do you know what I mean? You don't enjoy... Yeah. But I like listening to it. It's the awesome. superhero comics mm-hmm. as much as you enjoy, like, yeah. more indie comics yeah. and stuff like that, yeah. I've noticed. But, yeah. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. So, mm. that's my uh, my little rundown. Yeah. Awesome. 
Declan. Yeah, I actually, I, I think this was such a um, bold move from Marvel to mm. be after Endgame, this to be their first yeah big risk. thing back. Which, if you think about it, really the right move to do something so yeah. wild and out of the ballpark because mm. you know we've we we know they can do an origin story. We know they can do a big action movie well. No problems there. If they keep doing that, they'll probably keep making money, but eventually we're going to get fatigued. Mm, so what do they do sure. instead? They go, fuck, let's completely mm. spin things around here. And like, it's so good that they're evolving their style and this universe as we go and not just sticking to what will be safe mm. and good to do, which yeah. is like, it's really cool. And this is so... Yeah, it's not. It's you wouldn't say this is like the best thing they've released, and like no. I pro- in all honesty, I probably won't watch these episodes again. But I enjoyed watching it, and I was like, I'm really interested to see where this goes. Yeah, if it had kept being the 50s style sitcom for every episode, I probably would have got fatigued mm. by it. Because yeah, there's well, a reason we don't make things like that anymore. Yeah. You know, yeah. kind of um, what I'm worried about. I hope nah, it I'll, doesn't. No, but yeah, it already jumped like into. That. By the end, it's already jumped into color. Yeah. You know there's something more sinister going on yeah. behind the scenes. It's like, like a we, Truman we show. We do know, though, that there's like so, Halloween episodes coming up. Yeah, but even but like even that. in the trailer, though, if you look at the way that Halloween stuff is presented, it's shot differently to the mm. way that it's shot in that first episode. Okay. So, yeah. it's All like- right. And there's just general things happening. Like the first episode, I don't know if you guys picked up on this, but their house is like a real flatland country style yeah, house. And different. then the second episode is a two different story house. house and then yep. mm. just yeah. things are not what they seem. So I'm, yeah. I'm, and I like, cause I'm a big fan of Twin Peaks and this is very mm. loosely sort of like Twin Peaks. But mm. you know, that scene where she, the lady is like, stop it, stop it. And it kept getting creepier. Yeah. That was so Twin Peaks, man. Yeah, and just, I, like, yeah. I got goosebumps. Uh, Lucas yeah. was watching that with me and he started freaking out. Yeah, that's creepy. And I tried to, yeah. uh, downplay it like as if oh i wonder what's happening here just to sort of keep him a bit calm yeah and that was really cool because they they that's when they switched up to the wide angle cl- wide angle lenses close yeah, up to, to yeah, look at yeah. make it look like it's you know what the hell's happening here yeah it's yeah. good yeah so um no i'm very i think it's i think it's a good move from them i think i'm very intrigued to see what else comes mm. yeah. yeah yeah and this we know this is going to lead into Doctor Strange. Doctor Strange in the multiverse of oh, Madness. i didn't so, know that and i freaking yeah. love dr strange man so yeah. she's going to be in it so you know that something Something's going to happen in this show. That, uh, that's yeah. good. Do you think? Sorry to cut you off, cut off, but um, do you just on top of my head? Do you think they're stuck in like a time loop or something? Oh, we'll go into my theory. Yeah. We'll go into theories. Okay. I think after Reese has his part. Oh, yeah. Sweet. yeah. Um. Yeah, I super enjoyed it. I watched this with uh, my girlfriend and I had it too. Yeah. yeah, and she was like, "This was so much fun," you yeah. know. Yeah. yeah. And I think it's because both it was set in that time and she's watched Marvel. So it's almost yeah. like there's moments where she's like, oh, that character. And then yeah. there's other moments where she's like, oh, you know, like this is just fun generally, yeah. <laughs> you know? Um, uh, and I do think that I do like the direction Marvel's taking with this. I want him to get a little more crazy, you know, a little more, will. yeah, funky, because if you read Marvel, it's funky. Yeah. Mm. It goes weird places. I mean, not as weird as maybe DC, but definitely- yeah. Super weird. I think with Ragnarok, they realized they could get, they could just, that's why they brought in Taika and they were like, mm. let's see what happens if we yeah. go full comic, you know, and like it worked. Everyone yeah. loved it. And yeah. they were like, fuck it. Yeah. Well, these these are like <laughs> light characters. At the end of the day, all of the, the Marvel world is pr- like relatively light mm. in, in how it's shot, yeah, how definitely. it's seen, you know, everything about it. Mm. So you don't ever feel like you feel the gravity of the situations at hand. But you always feel like, you know, they're throwing puns and funnies out yeah. while they're fighting or whatever. So, it's nice to see that they go, well, we can actually convert that into a sitcom yeah, and turn it into something um, enjoyable and then pull it back into, you know, the world that it's supposed to be in. Yeah. yeah. So, in- just on, just on intelligent. That, you said light with the, the way it's shot. Yeah. Man, the cinematography in, in all those Marvel movies are really, really good. They are good. Really good, man. I would, I would say that, like, once very simple. Once the, the Russos, Russos came took on, over, yeah. I think I would actually argue that they're, 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 they're really good. Better. Like, they're, they're way better, and yeah. it's not simple anymore. I think yeah. that like there's a lot of yeah, you, stuff you, going on. If you yeah. watch, there's a breakdown video of them in that. You know, in the scene in Infinity War, yeah, on when the, the Guardians of the Galaxy find Thor, yeah. dude, that's far from simple, man. Yeah. That's the thought. And really, shit, they go yeah. watch it, man. It's crazy. Yeah, I've seen it, yeah. There's, <laughs> but it, yeah, even in. Um, the first they, Avengers, like when Joss Whedon was yeah. doing it, was dead. It's more like 
feels more that like feels, TV style. Yeah, issue. yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 But, yeah, but yeah, then the, a, when the Russos came in, it definitely there was like better. a step up. Even when um, just all the spaceship scenes, even when Stark is uh, you know, laying down and he thinks he's gonna die. Man, it's just lit so yeah. well. It's really damn good, man. Even yeah, the fight they- scenes. If you pause any shot. Like Thanos and all that. The way everything's lit is just ridiculous. That, that Tony Stark <clears throat> versus Thanos fight scene in Infinity War is one of the best fights ever put to screen because it's yeah. so tangible what's yeah. happening yeah. the whole time. Mm-hmm. You just you just like it's you can understand the geography and everything that's yeah. happening and you're yeah. there blow by blow. It's good, man. And then the it's- same when Cap picks up Mjoni and fights Thanos. You're so yeah. there as well. They're really good at doing those one on one. Yeah. Actually, I yeah. think my favorite Thanos fight out of any moment is his very first one with Hulk. Yeah, that's... and that, Yeah. I was like, yeah. shit, I feel yeah. like two beasts are going yeah. at it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, you know, two like the Hulk, gods and are And you could see, it. but you could see as well, just within the fight, that there's such good that such good storytelling that there was no word spoken between them, but mm. you could see that they were both strong, but Thanos was smarter, and that's why he yeah. won that fight. But you could see that just from watching that fight, which and is, that's incredible storytelling. It yeah. seems like Thanos in that moment actually had like almost soldier-esque training. Yeah, yeah. And then Hulk is just like a brawler. Yeah, just a street brawler. Yeah, yeah. so yeah. you have that moment where it's boom, 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 mm. <laughs> and you hear it. Yeah, that's yeah. the best part as well, <laughs> yeah. the audio. Thuds, yeah, so good, man. Yeah. Um, well, let's get straight into it because there's lots to unpack here, mm. I think. And um, uh, it's exciting getting getting into like what is our next part part of Marvel? We haven't seen Marvel for anything since Endgame. No, Spider Man. Spider Man. Yeah, fuck. Uh, but that was yeah. a while back now. But what last, was that? Last year was the end of twenty nineteen. The year before. Yeah, yeah. Was, Endgame was twenty nineteen. Was it? Yeah, and then we had. Yeah, it would have been twenty nineteen. Yeah. Yeah. So far from home was end of yeah. 2019. This is a, yeah. First year where we haven't had Marvel at all. Yeah. yeah. In like a long time. Not in 2020. Yeah. yeah. They took a break. Well, yeah. Black Widow was meant to come out. Yes. Yeah, mid 2020. Yeah. They pushed that back. Yeah. When, that's in April now, isn't it? Um, Hopefully. Yeah. <laughs> I also wanted to say, add my, to my notes too. It, I think the Wanda character, I didn't really like her through the Avengers movies. I thought she was very weak and like put it aside. Until she um, nearly crushed Thanos in Endgame, yeah, by herself. yeah, that's yeah, that's that's when they thought <laughs> yeah. they must have said, "Well, fuck, let's give her something." Well, she's then, the most powerful in there, yeah, in, in that group. Yeah, yeah. 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 <laughs> that follows suit. in the comic. She is famously up and down with her emotions and powers. Okay, and yeah, that's yeah. the way she works. But I like how Vision. Firstly, Paul Bettany, he's a freaking brilliant actor. Mm. Yeah, he plays that character so damn good, and then having him because I still believe she's she's still coming of age, right? Yeah, as an actress. Mm. Even though she's acting, she, she a looks tiny like kid. she belongs in the era too. She yeah. fits in yeah. so perfectly. And then see, seeing them together, right? I thought, fuck, these guys can act, mm. right? So I've got hopes for the future of uh, you know them getting more meat in the role, especially if, her. If Vision's still around, like we don't know what's going on. With oh him yeah, now. well yeah, because he died in uh, yeah. Avengers, that's so the thing. Like it's, it's, really interesting, it's yeah. very intriguing yeah. the whole thing. Yeah, yeah. Well, well, th- that means I think we should get into it. Yeah, this yeah. is. What what we can see is it's pretty much she, as if she's under an experiment. Mm. Experiment or like in the yeah. comics, in she, we know that she can retreat into her own head and yes. create alternate realities. Yeah. Uh, and okay. she can change reality too. She can alter oh, really? if she gets emotional yeah, enough. So, does, it's like yeah. that's why I'm so curious as to what's going to happen in this show. So, if she was powerful enough and in control of all her powers, could she have changed Thanos' decision or the, the, the probably not stone. that Don't, far reaching because she doesn't actually have control of it so there's there's a famous moment sorry if I'm going too deep go for it but there's it's a famous good. moment in the comedy in the Marvel like I actually don't read the comics but I I like to when the big events happen I always sort of like take mm. a keen interest and read the synopses and things yeah. but there's a famous event in uh, the comics where she someone dies close to her. I couldn't even tell you specifically who it is which is similar to what's happened Her in brother. the movies yeah. and um, she retreats into like a you know into her own head and mm. then she has this famous moment where she says out loud no more mutants because that's what the x-men are in the right. universe and then all of a sudden like the mutant population is wiped from mm. earth oh. and they, or they just lose their powers and it's like a massive massive tragedy in the world so i'm like i'm wondering this is oh my, my thing God. i'm wondering are they going to do a reverse because we know in the movie world they have reversed some things like the scrolls and captain marvel are good guys in the movies the bad guys in the comics are they? Is this the way they're going to bring the mutants into the Marvel universe? Is she going to oh. do something that 
causes well, an event. Yeah. Well, a lot of this. <laughs> I'm looking at Reese's face. A lot <laughs> of this. He's got something here. <laughs> a lot of her arcs have to do with the X Men. The X Men. Because she's Magneto's daughter. Yeah. Oh, comics. really? Yeah. yeah. Wow. So is Quick Quicksilver her brother yeah, is Magneto's Magneto son. Kids. Yeah. Ah. So, um, yeah, there is. That's why there's that. Isn't there like a, a quip about it in um, Avengers Two? They say something about it. There's in a quip. Like a, they in, give like a. There's a quip in Days of Future. Past. That's right. That yeah. one. Yeah. With okay. the other Quicksilver. Yeah. <laughs> They're both pretty good, actually. Well, what's of, like, what's a quip? Oh, um, just when um when he rescues Magneto from prison, he goes. So what do you do? And he's like, I control metal. And he's like, Huh. My mum knew a guy that could do that. Like, uh, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, <laughs> Um, yeah, but they he, they do have a lot to do with the X Men, mm. and then they also have a lot to do with Sword. Yeah, right. So Who's I mean, sword? well, we got Shield. Yeah, and Sword is the other division. They're like a shadier version of Shield. So right? to give you a bit right. of information about Sword, yeah, uh, Sword is the Sentient World Observation and Response Department. Uh, its purpose is to deal with extraterrestrial threats to world security and is the space-based counterpart of S.H.I.E.L.D., <laughs> which deals with local threats to the world. And if you if you look, you know, that at the end of the first episode when it pulls out onto the TV and we yeah. see that guy taking notes, notes. Yeah. there's yeah. a sword logo on the computer. And yeah. then when he pulls out his book, it's got a sword logo on his book. As well. Right. So, um, Sword was first introduced, just to give it the final yeah. little bit, yeah. introduced in Astonishing X-Men Volume 3 and was created by... Joss Whedon and John Cassidy. Oh, there you go. Yeah, wow. Right. So, in 2010, you, so you said new. shady. Is that going to mean that they're like bad um, or? Well, no, because there is good. more to this. Right. Sword is, in all retrospect, not a bad. When I say shady, I just mean they're more willing to push the boundaries right. well, for the greater good. They okay. are the sword yeah. for the world. Yeah. Yeah. And obviously, the shield is well, shield. Yeah. For the it world. makes yeah. sense. So yeah, that's cool. Um, you know, it, it is like also they're dealing with most of the time bigger shit mm. than even yeah. Shield. And I'm guessing that uh, once Marvel's next phase, it's a lot more freaky stuff's happening. Yeah, well, we've got Doctor Strange and the Multiverse of Madness. We've yeah. got what's the is so it the Eternals? Sense. Is it yeah, the Eternals? Eternals yeah. yeah, it's a lot more magic based. Is that the one? Yeah. The Eternals is the new one. That's yes. not the one that failed, is it? The TV show. Oh, that might actually be the one. I can't that remember. Failed. There's what? There's the space. Group one that Kit Harrington and everything are going to be in. Okay. So that makes sense. 2021. Sort of, so yeah, 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 that would yeah. be it. Yeah. yeah. Um, well, Kit, yeah. In a Kit Harrington, Angelina uh, Jolie. Kit Marvel. What's it like starring in a Marvel movie? <laughs> and he's wow, um, what a cast he's, man. He's going to be playing the Black Knight too, which is cool. He's a cool character. What what a, what a, what a cast. Angelina yeah, Jolie, yeah. Richard Matten. Two which, Thrones actors. Yeah, it? Two Thrones actors. Bro- the brothers in it. I'm not a fan of Angelina Jolie, man. She's, she's I got, hope she doesn't. If she she'll plays be playing herself, like a like a matriarch character though. Yeah, she can do that. As long as she doesn't put on like a Russian accent or no, something. She won't be. I don't think bad. she can play. I don't think she'll be like a major like superhero. No, or she'll anything. be like the. Like yeah, the, she'll be like the. Uh, oh, the she'll be like the Nick Fury. Yeah, you okay? Uh, no, she'll like, be like the. She'll be like the Nick Fury. It tells the character. Group, yeah, kind of thing. Yeah. Okay. You right? Athena. Who's Thena? I don't know. That, I'm not big on the Eternal. I just right. know the Black Knight character because he's popped up okay. in other things. We, we know that um, uh, Kumail Nan- Nanijani. Yeah. He's oh, come on. He's funny, fucking man. Fucking jacked. Yeah. yeah. Have yeah, you yeah. seen those yeah. photos? Yeah. yeah. Oh, how my go- God. <laughs> like, how, how good is he in Silicon Valley? <laughs> yeah, he's really good. <laughs> he's uh, Salma Hayek, Kit Harrington. There's a, there's a really good cast. Yeah. So, that'll be oh, really cool. interesting. It's mm. good. Super interesting. Um. Back to WandaVision, though. Let's just jump into the episodes a little bit. Yeah. yeah. Um, I just want to preface, every time the opening of Marvel comes on now, I get a little bit hyped like Star Wars. I yeah, do. I'm saying. You know what I mean? Yeah. I'm like always the- looking for the new clips they're putting in yeah. the things, too. Like, yeah. they've got the Tony Stark like snap. Iron, Iron Man snap in there and everything now. It's really cool. It's yep. every time now. Even me and my girlfriend are sitting there like, how fucking cool is this opening? Like, yeah. She's like, yeah, it's really yeah. good. It's now yeah. a brand. <laughs> yeah. So, they've yeah. done really well in the marketing side, yeah. Which that, it took them ages to get that up and running. That, and, and that yeah, was about halfway through. You're right though. Like the, the there is something to be said for the, like the, when you, when there's a movie starts and something happens, something. like the Lucasfilm logo pops and then, up and, then, and you're just bam, like, immediately, and then you're like, yeah. it's like a Pavlovian conditioning. Yeah. You're just like, oh my God. I'm ready. Happening. I'm ready. <laughs> <laughs> Body's ready. Gone. 
like when you when you go to a marvel or a star wars movie for the first time now and you haven't you don't know what's coming in yeah. the movie there is like this illicit response that you have mm. where you're just like oh my god i can't <laughs> wait for this yeah yeah yeah, yeah it's, it's, it's just funny on that even though the new star wars movies weren't good still though when that when that opening comes up and even just the first five minutes it's like fuck how yeah good it gets is you it? every time yeah yeah, yeah. yeah. I might get you, Declan, to drop down a little bit right. in the seat. Yeah. Because I think that seat's been put up and uh, your wave levels are a little Much low. Much better. Yes. I feel more comfortable now. I thought you did that on purpose. No, I didn't. <laughs> you <wanted to laughs> but I can fix it. Don't worry. Um, <laughs> <laughs> i just put your, put your levels up a bit later. Um, uh, so, getting into it, let's have a chat about mm. all the influences here because we know that there's influences like Bewitched. Yeah. The yep. nanny. Yep. Uh, what was the other one? I dream of genie. I dream of genie. genie. Yeah. Dan, can you name even more? Brady Bunch vibes? Yeah. That yeah. Basically, actually, there was. Yeah. Basically, between the fifties and the seventies, all those, all those TV shows. Yeah. Um. I like how he says, Dan. Can you mention? That? <laughs> yeah. You said it before. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> You're like, apparently, <laughs> apparently, there's it's a, my job. <laughs> apparently, there's a Brady Bunch <laughs> Easter egg in there. There's like the Kitty Carriol doll that that um, or Katie Carriol that um the youngest one Cindy used to have. Yeah. In the show. Oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah. It's in the background somewhere or something mm. like that. Like uh, yeah, well, the replication of a 50s, 60s sitcom yep. year They're is all, yeah. almost like undeniably like you can't even notice it. Mm. The yeah. only difference is maybe sound quality and a little bit of crispness. Yeah. Yeah. Like, oh, you know definitely. What I mean? like, it's in like, you know, 4K. K. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. <laughs> but it is like one of those things where like they have tried their best to oh, man, it's, pull it back. It's damn good. And there's a lot of, and a lot of it you'll see is shot wide. Yeah. Mm. So it's just all like more like stage. Yeah, acting. that's what they used to do. Yeah. 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 And also the the use of practicals. So like for when she's like floating things in the air, it yeah. all looks like it's on wires. That yeah. looks really cool. Yeah. yeah. And yeah. I like that a lot. Yeah. They copied that like you know, copied. It's replicated from the old shows. Yeah. Even when they're you know, when they do the click of fingers and stuff, it's you can see the jump. Mm. Yeah, the oh, jump. they did that. Yeah, yeah they did yeah. that on purpose. purpose yeah, yeah. 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 So I, I really like that they went so hard on making yeah. sure that it was like um, authentic mm. on that front. Um, uh, the mother-in-law in... I said here the mother-in-law in town. Uh, it, uh, mother-in-law is in town, so I wasn't. Yeah. All the jokes oh. from Agnes. Yeah, I man. loved her one yeah. with the She's final killed. one that she did where she was like, can we put my husband in there? In the <laughs> yeah. like so good. Ralph. She keeps saying Ralph. Yeah. Never meet Ralph. Though. <laughs> and she's like the typical neighborhood gossip lady. Yeah. Just, you know, it's, a, it's, it's all for fun, but yeah. She's like a neighborhood gossip, but you can see that she means well. Yeah. yeah. Like with everything, which is like, usually the neighborhood gossip is the one that's like a pain in the ass. Yeah. Mm. For her, she's more like, she's helpful and then she and gets fun. relatively out of the way. Yeah. And you got to think those times too, most of the girls didn't work. They'll be at home just cleaning. Yeah. They'll be so freaking bored. You were meant to yeah. be like, yeah. they were they were so trained shit. in yeah. a sense to be like, the husband goes out and works and you look after yeah. him. That's which what it was. That's what is, is crazy. It's so weird this time. Which is <laughs> one of the things in this show that they lean heavily on. Yeah. And they joke about. Yes, those. a yeah. lot. Yes. Yeah. The, like the, it's almost like a misogyny here, yeah. uh, blatantly. But the whole, uh, the wife burning the toast Stark machine yeah. advertisement. Yeah. You know, the How like- How creepy are those ads toast too? for your husband again. <laughs> and you're like, wow. Yeah. How creepy are those ads when yeah. the toaster kept beeping oh, was yeah. for ages? It was, yeah, there was a creepiness a to it. Time, and they yeah. were both like looking at it and it was yeah. like, what the hell's going on which is here? Which is interesting because do you think that the whole like the beeps, it, all these little things are going to have to- play a, a moment in, I, I think in definitely. like you know we'll come out into a normal world and we'll hear like beep beep yeah. beep and we're yeah. like oh fuck that was the machine yeah yeah, yeah. You know, i think for sure i think there's the obviously something going on underneath yeah, yeah. definitely mm. um i have here computational services where vision works yeah this is the thing about this show now it is a mystery yeah that's completely what it is mm. so everything is scrutinized. Mm. I'm thinking to myself, computational services, we know that obviously, you know, he's smart and he's mm. going to do it really quickly, stuff like that. But I wonder why he's in that location. Like, there has to be more to even just mm. his workplace, Yeah, you know, where it is. And then also, like, the boss being so how he is in his mm. own yeah. right. Even a name, Heart. I wonder yeah, what, heart. what that's got to... Do later yeah. on. Vision, so, vision questioning if he has a heart. Mm, yeah. yeah. Synthetic. 
just how, how funny it was when he was like acting drunk. <laughs> was yeah. so I, man, <laughs> Paul Bettany really gets to stretch his comedy legs again, yeah. which is great. Because so I was saying, so really I said to my good. girlfriend, I was like, it's like he's in a Knight's Tale again. Remember that character? Oh, he played yeah, God, he's, he's so, he's good, so good. Like he's comedian. he's so yeah. funny. He yeah. doesn't Super get to do it very often yeah. though. Yeah, he's a good actor. Man. Was he? He good was pretty range. funny even in Wimbledon, wasn't mm. he? Yeah, yeah. He, he's hilarious. Yeah. Uh, the back and forth mm. with dinner. So good. Yeah. The the jumping backwards and forth and in between like the kitchen and out of the kitchen and yeah. it, the Chaos. whole like even mm. the whole like having to make sure that everything's perfect for the boss. Mm. Yet again, the authentication of like the 50s, 60s style, you yeah. know, sitcom comedy I really like. Impress the boss. Yeah, that's yeah, yeah. the whole which is, you know, like sure we have yeah. that now, but especially for a promotion. You don't, you don't have them over dinner. Yeah, you know, no, no, it's all no privacy way. these days. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, and obviously we've got the stop it, stop it, stop yeah. it moment, which yeah. is super creepy. In color, if I remember correctly, the guy that came out of the thing was in color or something. Which got no, the stone one. that came out or whatever. Yeah, wasn't it? Might have been. Oh no, I don't. Was, think or was the only two things that we've seen in color so far? Was party it, ending was the, the cut and the helicopter. The helicopter, yeah, yeah. yeah. and okay. the cut. Yeah, you're right. And the yeah. cut, yeah. yeah. That crazy lady. Which yeah. makes me think that are the things that are happening with colour- They're red. Real. The mm. red and yellows are only coming out. Yeah. It's I, Iron Man. Th- I, yeah, there's something going on too because that helicopter had the sword logo on it as well. Yeah, which makes me think though that there might be something like an actual helicopter- Something's happened to an actual and helicopter. And an yeah, maybe. An yeah, you're right. Yeah, there's blood. some. There, obviously, there's something going yeah. on because she in the second episode too when she's like, "No," and then it rewinds back yeah. to. Yeah, that's right. Because yeah, she yeah. sees that guy in the bee keeping costume come out of the. Yeah, yeah. Which, yeah. which that could be the villain. Which here we go. Okay, here we go. Yeah. Little bit of information. <laughs> yeah. Aim advanced ideas mechanics. Wow. So What's that on? Is that on one of the ads or something? Or? They are. A group. I've heard that. Yeah. An offshoot of Hydra. Oh, yeah. my. And okay. commonly, they wear beekeeper suits in the <laughs> oh, comic books. Yeah. What a uh, weird costume. <laughs> another thing uh, that they have about it here well, is- Well, AIM the ones in um, the new Avengers game? Was that the villains? Um, like if maybe? I remember, I think AIM actually- They've been in were run New Avengers? No, they were, they were. they have been in the show before. Yeah, right. um, I can't remember if it might have been around the same, like around Iron Man 2. Um, who, what was the name of, um, that wasn't AIM. That was, that was like a really bad company. They did they did say something to do with yeah, AIM in the actual movies before. They yeah. have mentioned. I know it's been referenced somewhere. I'm just yes. trying to pick where it was, yeah. Um, there's more here though. Uh, there's a little bit of like a, a an idea here that there might be the guy that came out of there might be a very specific character though, um, that being the Grim Reaper, oh, uh, Eric yeah. Williams. Yeah, uh, Grim Reaper is a fictional character, supervillain appearing in American comic books published by Marvel. He is also the brother of Wonder Man. Uh, so oh, that's yeah. pretty much like a, a, an idea, and that's only because it's not only a beekeeper suit, but it has the sword logo on it mm. as well. Yeah. So, which is very confusing to a lot yeah. of people at the moment. They're like, yeah, so it's why a, is it the a, sword and AIM working together in yeah, this way? So, true. Wonder Man in the comics was originally a member of the Avengers who dies mm. and then his consciousness is put into vision right. in the comics. Okay. And he's and he, Wanda was in love with him. They were a couple. He's Wanda, man. Yeah. It's- um, uh, AIM okay. are, so here you go, here's more about AIM. AIM are a crooked super science company founded by, and here you go, here's the information we're looking for, by Baron Wolfgang von Strucker. Ah, uh, yeah. The Avengers Age of Ultron curtain jerker and the man who activated <laughs> um, Wanda and Pietro Maximoff's mm. uh, metahuman powers. Their agents were known for dressing like beekeepers and AIM's origins began late in World War II with Baron... Uh, Wolfgang von Strucker's creation of his subversive organization, Hydra. Mm. Uh, under the code name of them, he created two Hydra branches called Advanced Idea Mechanics and the Secret Empire. Aim uh, purpose. Aim's purpose was to develop an advanced weaponry for Hydra. Mm. 
So there you go. There's a little bit. He um, bit Strucker's of a- name's on the watch in that ad in the second episode too. Oh, is it? Yeah, it says Von Strucker and the Hydra, Hydra oh, logo underneath. That's crazy. Yeah, when I go into the close up, it was like Sh- Strucker. And then it had the hydra, the hydra, hydra. Oh, yeah, yeah, that's 1, right. Yeah, meters, that's true. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Also, yeah. the one thousand meters makes me think: Is this something that's like underground, <laughs> yeah. like under a water <laughs> or something? Be. There's definitely like those ad. There's a lot in those ads. There's yeah. a lot going on. Yeah. yeah, yeah. And I do like. I I really like how they do add those little things, like you know, mm. this toast is by Stark. Yeah, you know? yeah. like yeah. The, all those little things are really cool. Hey, pull them back here. Yeah. Um, you know if. if it was around World War One and World War Two. All these stuff started coming out. All would've these been, ideas would have been after World War Two yeah. when everyone was trying to re reset. Yeah. Um, yeah. The way of life. Yeah. So imagine if, if you know, war war is just complete and shit and house. Mm. Yeah. But um, if that didn't happen, I wonder if these ideas would have been born. It's funny. It's funny to say that because when we do our next movie, um, today. Yeah. when we do Die Hard 4 yes which yeah. is um, we, we release these the separately the yeah I know but them, today but we're yeah, recording yeah. both yes. of them yes um, <laughs> I, I was wondering the whole time I was watching it would this movie this movie wouldn't exist without being in a post 9-11 world you know what I mean yeah, yeah. would we have had the big superhero thing because when you look back at it you look back at like history and you know when like when movies are popular like you know there's always like you know westerns and then gangster movies and war movies and everything like yeah Gangster movies were popular right after or during the depression when everyone was like wanted to see nobodies become somebodies. That yeah. was like the stories they wanted to see. Now we've had superhero movies being a thing for so long. And I like, I wonder is it because in a post 9 11 world, we'd like to see. Yeah, it makes sense. Huh? Yeah. It's heroes cool. standing up to evil and things like yeah. that. It's, it's like a subconscious uh, way of writing, I suppose. Yeah. Just, yeah. yeah, they just think of they want something positive. Mm. I, I can see that. Which but is cool. I, I feel like, obviously. We've always liked seeing good guys beat the shit out of. I know, bad but guys. like <laughs> that's true. But, but yeah, you're you're looking at it at like specifically. Yes, it's been a phenomenon for like yeah for the last decades, ten years, yeah, longer than ten yeah. really. Like since like 2002, they started coming out. Mm. That's true. Which is right after yeah. 9/11. Yeah, 2002 was Spider-Man one or Spider-Man X-Men, two. X-Men one came out. Would have been Spider-Man two. Yeah. How much have they changed, eh? Hey? There's a lot of shit movies out for. Well, I mean, the first three Spider-Man movies are really good. Mm. The first two X-Men movies are good. Yeah, they X-Men's, were good. Yeah. Yeah. X-Men, X-Men 2 is still good today. Yeah, but yeah, Spider-Man's. Nah, Spider-Man's are better than the X-Men. The yeah. first three. Yeah. No, yeah. I, would, I would say X-Men 2, I reckon, is up there. Yeah. I don't know, man. I watched I, that recently, man. That opening Nightcrawl scene still holds yeah, up. Yeah, Still good. holds up. Yeah. Did Josh do that? Who, who directed that? Um, oh, geez. Was it Brian Singer? Oh, that's right. Yeah. Oh, what's he done lately? Nothing. He's just been in yeah, court. Yeah, he's been cancelled. <laughs> oh, because oh, of the allegations. Yeah. Right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 He's uh, a... Right. forgot about that. He's <laughs> been a bad boy. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> uh, getting further into it, let's go to episode two because that was just like an episode one mainly. Yeah. Um, the whole idea of the magic show type of thing. Mm. A fantastic little premise for mm. a second episode jumping into it. But before that, actually, the whole changing of the house... I thought it was a bit of a change of an era. Like, it looked like it wasn't exactly still that era when well, you look at it. I think- It, it looked different. I think that, I think that the era wasn't defined in the second episode because Wanda was wearing, like, modern clothes, I thought. They weren't, like, 60s clothes, but some of the women were wearing 60s clothes. Some of them weren't. Mm, Everyone was, like, it was really, like, eclectic mix of things. Because I noticed a lot more of less of, like, a, the whole dress thing. Yeah, yeah she's she was wearing pants. Episode. She referenced that she was yeah, wearing pants. Well. Yeah. yeah. It's like, it was, it was very, like, it's very undefined. Yes. Yeah. yeah. Okay. All right. Because I, yeah, because both me and my girlfriend, they're like, the air has changed. And she's like, well, I think it has as well. Even, we a, thought it even would, a two-story cool house. Um I don't. I doubt that would have even been sixties two story houses. Mm. Mm, don't know. There's definitely, if anything, there well, was definitely s- a layout sub- change for suburbia. Anyway, maybe. Yeah. Because they still had those you know, massive plantation houses and stuff. Yeah, I know. Mm. But I'm just thinking because I'm, I'm like even now having multiple stories on your house isn't the mm. thing anymore. It's like how many square meters is it and stuff. You know, yeah. it's just like different yeah. areas we count. Yeah, it's more about design. When I was growing up, yeah. houses like how many stories? How many stories is your house? It was yeah. like the big thing. It's yeah. like, yeah. That's true. <laughs> yeah. 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 Um. Uh, the character of Dottie, which we haven't gone into at all. Mm. The really like 
uh, you know, do as I say type mm, of thing. Mm, yeah. Yet again, another reference I think is going to come into play at some point in time. A very, and that's why she's cut. Mm. You know, a very a character that seems very, you know, um, almost no, almost it's- like you know the Winter Soldier. Yeah. Where they're telling him to do something. Oh, yeah. yeah. Seems like that character. Mm. Yeah. And that you know, it may uh, be um, like when she comes out of it. This is someone that's trying to influence her. Mm. Oh, no, just, maybe the cut is an actual your cut. So maybe, maybe yeah. yeah, that's how yeah. I thought of it. It'll be. I, I, it seems to me like some of the people are aware of what they're in, and some of them aren't. Yeah. Like, um, yeah what's the girl's like name? Show. What was the girl's name that she was talking to during yeah, that yeah. thing? Yeah, it's heaps like the Truman Show. Uh, what she was talking to during the thing, and Dottie kept getting angry that they were interrupting. Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah. It's just yeah. Um, Grace or something was her name. The the oh. black lady. Yeah. Yeah. I can tell you. Um, yeah. She was like, she didn't seem aware of what was happening. Hmm. But Dottie seems aware to me. Was it Geraldine? Yeah, Geraldine. Yeah, it's yeah. Like, yeah. yeah. Um, Tayona, Tayona Paris. I think she was in Get Out. Now, I'm, I think I'm, so, yeah. Every cast member in this show is great. Yeah. Even the um, when I went to the, you know, the neighborhood watch. Even that, yeah, like yeah, they're they're all good, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, and I but, wonder if that had, again has something to do with her. Well, because then, but then on the radio, like <clears throat> that when that person was going, Wanda, who's doing this to you? Wanda, yeah. can you read yeah. me? Like, yeah. some, there's, I mean, it's blatantly. Yeah, something I wonder who that is. <laughs> also, I ideas. thought it sounded like Hawkeye a little bit to me, but I wasn't sure. Well, it also has a very Inception moment where, like, when things break through, other characters around start going, like, what is that? Yeah, what yeah. is that? Yeah. You know, like. As if, like, they become, like... That's why I'm wondering, is she is she, she doing, doing this and is she controlling everyone? And, like, when she breaks, they all start realising something, like, something's yeah. wrong. Well, that's yeah. why maybe she said yeah. no and rewound the whole yeah. thing. Yeah. Some, this, oh, no, there's something we go on. It's getting yeah. funky. <laughs> yeah. It's getting funky. Um, we, we all, I would say, we all know if this was directed by JJ, <laughs> it'll have no ending. <laughs> At least yeah, yeah. with Kevin Feige on there, they've got a good plan set in place <laughs> yeah. here. Yeah. Be more lens flares. It does, it does, more yeah. lens flares. <laughs> but it does, it does feel like you know lost. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, yeah. that's what like that's what I say. Twin Peaks, like mm. it was, like yeah. a, mm. it was a big influence on Lost. I think. Yeah. Well, so. speaking of Twin Peaks here, and something very Lynchian, there's not only the stop it, but there's for the children. That's got to be something. The children. Hey. And also, that has to be something. We haven't seen, <laughs> and we haven't creepy. seen any children yet. No. And, but yeah, it, that's true. I, I do not know like where that is going and at even all. The magic yeah. show, no, like there's only the same characters. Yeah, there's like it looks like a like a prop propped up village. Yeah, like, like a, that's like a town center. Yeah. There's no one there. It's just yeah. there. like there's 15 people yeah. <laughs> that yeah. live in this whole place. So usually when you have a dream, there's yeah. not like thousands of people in there. It's no. Usually like you know five, ten people max, mm. five yeah. people. So we definitely know there's something going on. There's something going yeah. on. Yeah. And and I just want to like you know shout out with the rest of it all the little side characters in it. So for example, when he's in the computational services, the guy that comes in and goes, you know, and this is the boss goes, and I had dinner at this yeah, guy's house. Guy and he goes, yeah. That guy's funny, man. Yeah, yeah. he's really yeah. good. He looks so, like a cartoon was, character. Yeah. yeah, yeah, he does. He was in the town meeting too. Yeah, yeah. he was. Well, yeah. The, the, the magic Supposedly show. that guy's getting some good roles. He's now. like that was so, my, that was my grandmother's piano. Yeah. <laughs> <That's right>. <laughs> <laughs> But he's supposedly getting some really good roles now, um, David Langle. So he's going to be in Coming to America too. Uh, he was in Richard Jewell. I just I ended up seeing him and I was I like, "That's a that. face that feels like almost like it's almost like it's a super nerdy Ray Romano <laughs> with a mustache." Yeah, kind of. Hey, is Richard Jewell so, good? You seen it? I haven't seen it. My okay. parents seen it. They said they re- it's really good. Okay. Yeah. Um, pretty much. For all that, that's everything I got for that. But can we get into the facts? Because yeah, that wasn't yeah. even any of the facts. No, let's get into it. Yeah, someone, come on, someone dropped it for me. Reese, yeah. who's doing this to you? <laughs> Give us the facts. He's like, stop it. Stop, stop it. Reece. Stop Reece. it. Reese. 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 Excellent. Um, all right. Uh, in order to capture the look and feel... Of the classic sitcom, legendary actor and comedian Dick Van Dyke was consulted. Oh. Mm. Furthermore, this show was also filmed in front of a live audience. Uh, really? Uh, yeah. That's pretty cool. Yeah. Jeez, I thought it for sure canned laughter. Uh, yeah. uh, I like reading your notes. It's somewhere ahead of you. Why? <laughs> Just so I know what your trend of thought is. I want to get your initial reaction okay. to it. 
calm down. You're always, always looking at my stuff, mate. <laughs> wow. Oh. Yeah. I was like, I feel like someone's at- watching over my shoulder, though. I was like, guy at school that cheated all the time. I can see. <laughs> no, you very, you weren't very good at it, though, no. were you? No, he wasn't. Uh, whatever school Daniel went to, go back through his stuff. <laughs> Please <laughs> cancel it. <laughs> Daniel's been cancelled because <laughs> of high school. Imagine now if I just disappear. Oh no! <laughs> wow. Um, here you go. Budget of the show. Can I S- guess? No, because you probably just read no, it. I swear I haven't. <laughs> I haven't. Okay. Is it high or is it low? It's fucking super high. Yeah, because okay. I imagine it gets crazier later on. All right, is this per episode? No, the, the whole, whole show? show. Oh, shit. Okay. Far. All right. How many episodes? There's six? I eight. can actually... I can... No, I can't tell you the budget per episode. All right. So, it's the whole show. How many episodes is it? Oh, no. I can't tell you the budget per episode. Okay. Sorry. If I say per episode, it can't be more than 50 mil. Fuck No. Not that much. Like maybe That's five, five, maybe, yeah, five, maybe five mil? mil an episode. No, more, more, so much more. Fifteen 50. mil, fifty, more, uh, twenty mil, twenty million an episode. Didn't I say fifty Jesus. before? Yeah, I did. this is the most That's expensive insane. show in TV history. How TV well, is Falcon history. and the Winter Soldier going to be more expensive? I don't know. This so far, this is the most expensive. So they must have built episode. that whole town or something. The budget of the show is two hundred and twenty-five million. I was going to say two fifty mil when you well, for the budget. Yeah, I mean uh, that just tells you that it's going to get crazy later, right? Yeah, that's true. So oh, plus the it's cast, actually be twenty-five, twenty-five million, roughly between twenty-two and twenty-five million per episode. That's insane, that tells you it's going to get crazier yeah. later on. Yeah. What was uh, uh, Game of um, Thrones? Game of Thrones wasn't that much. Yeah. Game of Thrones was ten million episode. Yeah, that's it. You know, looked ridiculous. Beat the most expensive TV series ever. Yeah. Game of Thrones. The Pacific. Oh, oh yeah. really? Oh, yeah. yeah. No. Which was that makes sense. Um, two hundred million an episode. So this one was twenty-five wow. million an episode. How many episodes are million, there? Wait, you said two hundred million an episode. Uh, t- a twenty million an episode. Okay. Sorry, yeah. two hundred million yeah. all up. Yeah. Have, Jesus Christ! The Pacific Jesus. still trying to make I've its got, money back. I've yeah. got like seven. <laughs> I've got like seven like like numbers here, yeah. and I'm juggling them. <laughs> so they're just like, ah, oh, no, we're still. So God, we need those Blu-ray sales <laughs> to pick up. <laughs> Spielberg's been doing, Spielberg's been executive producing just to finish that show <laughs> for the past 10 years. Yeah, insane. Um, They're making another one too. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm looking forward to that. Yeah, yeah. Um, yeah so 225 million for one division, mm-hmm. 20 roughly 25 million an episode, and then the Pacific is 200 million all up, roughly 20 million an episode. So yeah, that's fucking nuts. Insane. Mm. It that's what. That's the one thing that made me think it had to go further than this. It's, but if you because it does, does as a sitcom, <laughs> it's, it's Marvel, dude. It's not just going to stay as a sitcom for the whole no, freaking no. episode. But you got to look at it. The, com- the actors are pretty getting a meal per episode. Yeah, to both of them. So, so let's say two million. Yeah, but all, all together, that's a lot though. Even say say five them. mil going to all the cast. That's being conservative. Sure. Mm. So then there's yeah, fifteen left. That's yeah. still a lot of money, man. So that means that like, let's say these two episodes cost. Let's say they did cost five mil, five to six, because it can't be much more than that for these two episodes. Yeah, there has to be fuckloads yeah. of stuff. It's it's, it's 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 wonder average, it's wonder yeah. and vision, and we've seen two episodes of it, and already we know that something sinister is going on mm. underneath. You, there's no way that we're not going to get some big massive action. Oh, set yeah, it has to later. come right. Yeah. It has to. no way. Yeah. Um, continue on. Mm. Uh, a wine bottle one pours out at dinner has a label reading Maison du Mépris. This means house of contempt in French. More significantly, the M relates to Maximoff, her relation to mutants and their revolutionary leader, Magneto. Because house, so she- house of M is the um, storyline that I was talking about before. She says no more mutants, isn't it? Yes. Yeah. Yes. That's so, what I, I swear, that's what they're doing. They're doing a twist on the house of M storyline with her. Yeah. So, what, so what are you saying yeah. there? She's trapped? That's kind of what it's she's trapped alluding her, to. In the comic, she's trapped herself, right? Yes. Mm. Yeah. Yeah, so, so I this- wonder. So the ha- so okay, you said before that this is going to tie in with Doctor Strange. It's got to tie in as well with maybe. Can they do a crossover with Doctor Strange and X Men, or they're going to do two separate lines? Uh, no, X Men will be coming into the Marvel universe. Yeah, we just at don't some know point how it's going to happen yet. Oh, there's confirmation as well that Deadpool's coming into. Yeah, it. Kevin Feige. We, yeah, he God. didn't. So he didn't specifically say that he'll be in the MCU, but like you got to. 
Deadpool, how easy is it to bring him in? Because he'll just be like, make some quip about like, what the hell? I'm in the new but, franchise now. So <laughs> yeah, like, but you know, they like also they, did say that he will continue to be an Yeah, he said character. it will continue. Yeah, well, he, he has to be. They can't yeah. not do that. Yeah. Yeah. Um, do you think because- the- He's the easiest character just to pick up and plop anyway because yeah. he'll just be like, oh, what, we're in the MCU now? Right yeah. on. Like, do you he'll think that be weird like though? Because the Marvel movies are so grounded like in that sci-fi world. He can do, you can do anything with Deadpool. Yeah. Well, remember like breaking the fourth wall and that. Do you think that'd be weird? Remember we had that'd be cool to yeah, see. But funny. he would. I don't but think. Just, I don't think he'd ever play a big part. He'd no. pop in maybe in a crossover thing or something like yeah. that, and maybe do one line like a Stan Lee line or something. I doubt. Or, or I doubt you chuck even, him in an Avengers movie. You know, it's like he wouldn't be. He's not in the comics ever really jumping into those things. Yeah, so. yeah but he might be in the moment of like a big battle, but only as like a guy that you see like rocket in with them. Yeah, and be like. Ooh, say something and then continue the you fight. Could, you could, you you could know? imagine him. You could imagine him, like in his own movie, being in the background of like the end game battle or something. Yeah, and something just being like, like that. Just yeah. being like, hey, hey someone listen to yeah. me. And, like everyone's <laughs> yeah. ignoring him and stuff like that. You know, I can see that happening. <laughs> yeah, you yeah. can see something like that for yeah. sure. He's like, what the hell? You'd be like, what the hell? Cap's got the hammer now. Hey, Cap, again. And then just like, oh, <laughs> too good for me and stuff. Like that would totally work. Man, that that fight scene at the end <laughs> too was good insane. For me. Yeah. <laughs> Um, <laughs> so he is a little, yeah, there you go. There's confirmation of what straight about what you said before. The series is based on the comic books, the vision and the Scarlet Witch, where the two heroes have an adventure together. House of M, mm. uh, Wanda creates, uh, the idyllic alternative reality and visions. Uh, the vision tried to live a normal life with his family. Yeah. Mm. So, they're the three that it's kind of based on. Mm. And the final fact is there is talks of Aaron Taylor Johnson coming back to reprise his role for a flashback. Oh, really? Yeah, right. So, that's yeah. um, the Quicksilver. 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 I was going to say Silver Surfer. Yeah. yeah. So, that's pretty much all of the facts. Mm. It's everything. Cool. Yeah. That's another character that they'll probably bring in as well with the whole cosmic way that they're going silver surfer because they yeah. got the fantastic oh, four cool. rights now yeah he's basically one of the most powerful yeah. um yeah characters I, and i it, that, cosmic you'd, being. you'd have to think yeah. that they're they're probably going to do galactus at some point oh, they have, yeah, yeah it's got another time they do that yeah yeah what's it, the what's, that, i like, hope they do something cool with the look because galactus just generally doesn't to me look too cool he, 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 <laughs> <laughs> like he yeah. looks good at, he hits planets doesn't he yeah. yeah, he devours. Who's planets. the guy that was in Green Lantern? That's DC, isn't it? That's that's DC's version. Of yeah, what's Black, what's that called? Ah, oh, geez, I can't remember. But they did the same thing. It was so funny they did that because in the Rise of the Silver Surfer movie, everyone was like, "What? They fucked Galactus. They made him just like this cloud." Yeah. And then Green Lantern, and they knew everyone hated it. Oh, and then like, Green Lantern did the exact same like thing. Like the Sinestro's, uh, yeah, like yeah. The, the yellow. Yeah, oh, so that's the Sinestro. yellow creature. No, no, no Sinestro's it's not Sinestro. a leader. He's a it's leader in Green in Green Lantern. Yeah, but it's in Green Lantern. Yeah, but that's not who we're talking about. Sinestro is a person. He's yeah, yeah. You know, but the he's influenced planets. by the yellow. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. What's no, that no, 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 no. But that's not to do with that, Claire. That's because he, that's because the emotion that he gives into his envy or greed or whatever. Oh, okay. That ring, but that actual entity, I can't remember what it's called. Yeah, but it was like Galactus. Yeah. It's like Galactus. Yeah, yeah. It's yeah. like DC's version of Galactus. Yeah. 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 Well, I mean, unfortunately, we got such a bad interpretation of Dark Side from DC I really would have liked to have seen a good version of Darkseid which right. was really Darkseid we never even got him did we we got moments of him we got flashes of him like there was a moment of um, which movie was I in sorry which I was just noticed you're not wearing glasses you got contacts yeah sorry which movie what movie was that in um, I'm fairly sure he was in Justice League no that's when there was Steppenwolf still was yeah, it still stepping? Yeah, it wasn't. It was about that. That flashback was defeat. We never saw Darkseid. Oh, didn't yeah. Snyder say he's got? He gets Dark referenced. Seed, he? He's in the new one for sure. Yeah. yeah, yeah. I think they cut like that scene. There definitely has Darkseid in it in the new one. Yeah, there you go. Yeah. yeah. Okay. But the whole like the ship coming down the center with the big field. Yeah. You can see Green Lantern flying around. Yeah, yeah. there is a Green Lantern, and the yeah. ring flies off when he gets killed. Yeah, you're oh, like, yeah. come on, man. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like just, yeah. well, you're giving a shit but you're not giving a shit yeah. what's the Green Lantern dies in this new version the the original well whoever was the Green Lantern at that point yeah. Yeah. then the ring yeah. flies off that's right. what happens in the with like, the Green Lantern yeah. Core. Yeah. and then it just yeah. kind of yeah. flies it's, somewhere finds else finds its next goes yeah. to the next worthy person there's been like yeah. three or four of them or something in the comics so far so basic is like Thor's hammer the best one, the best Green Lantern is um, Hal Jordan no 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 he's the, the best one was that Kyle, Kyle Rayner he's, Kyle he's, Rayner. he's, he's the most interesting because yeah. he's a, like a poor artist, struggling artist in New York. Yeah. So, he does really creative things with the ring. Yeah, that's know. right. Yeah. yeah. Okay, that's really yeah. cool. Hal Jordan's our classic. He's the Green classic. Yeah, yeah, the flight, the, but he's, the pilot. The thing with Hal Jordan for me is he's too similar to too many other heroes. He's that smart-ass, quippy, 
yeah. arrogant mm-hmm. sort of character, which is just what we've seen that. Oh, I found the Kyle Rayner one more of an interesting, different character that we don't see too often yeah. in superheroes. It was cool. Yeah. For me personally. <laughs> Same as like Peter Parker's like a scrappy little nobody, you know? That's what makes Spider Man yeah. so much. Makes likeable. him the enjoyable character. Yeah. Yeah. He's yeah. always like struggling financially all the time. Yeah. It's not like Stark's like just like got money and. Bruce Wayne's got money. And I like those characters. But, <laughs> it's like, but it's cool to see a guy who's like, he goes and fights you, crime and then when he takes a mask off, he's like, oh shit, my taxes are due. Yeah, you can't, <laughs> like, you can't relate to Bruce Wayne no, in no. that. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, so final thoughts. I'm going first, am I? Oh, okay. All right. This is always, you always. <laughs> no, I'll go. Declan, no, 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 it's all good now. Not too late Declan. Now. Okay, all right. Stop final this. thoughts. Hesitated. <laughs> <laughs> Pass the buck. <laughs> um, yeah, these were like these were like really sort of like for the most part they were like light, fluffy entertainment, and they were an easy watch. Mm. But I would I, I want to see where it's going to go, and I hope that I I like after now hearing what the budget is and everything. There's, <laughs> there's no way that it's not going to get bigger and more interesting. It has so, to. Um, I'm very very keen to see where it goes, and if it is going to do an interpretation of the House of M storyline, I think that's. Mm. That's really interesting for the future of the MCU yeah, as a whole, is. and how yeah. like, that's going to be a game-changing event come the end of the season. I think yeah. so. I'm I'm keen for the the whole where it's going to go mm. because it's going to connect to. Ev- they're so good at connecting things. Yeah, like in the most intriguing ways. Yes, and there's got to be a reason. This is the first. Sh- like this is this is the first. We had the ones on Netflix, right? But this yeah. is the first. MCU show. Yeah. There's a reason one. this one's first, right? There has yeah. to be. So yeah. um, it, it is a, a weird yeah. though. It is a weird way to do the first two episodes of this type of yeah, thing. Yeah, because you look at the trailer for Falcon and the Winter Soldier and you sort of think that'd be a more safe, easy approach to throw us back into the mm. MCU. Or yeah. even Loki. Loki even, but Loki like, looks crazy. So it's really so there's a reason this one's there's gotta be a reason this is the first one they've brought out. I'm yeah. gonna throw out a question here. Yeah. If you didn't have Disney Plus, mm. right? Which I'm, I'm just guessing. At least I reckon eighty percent of the audience might not have it. Uh, I think even, a lot of people. Have, I think a lot of people, people have signed up to it. Disney Plus now. Okay. Yeah. Well, if they did With it, Mando and would you think? Uh, well, would, do you think the people that don't have it do you think they'll find it annoying? That they're missing out on all these shows if 100%. they know about it. Yeah, yeah. if you if you, you think that's a weird. Yeah. No, I think that I think they'll for get sure. subscribers for sure. Yeah, I guess that's what they're hoping for. Oh, d- I think yeah, but Disney, Disney Plus that, is yeah. going to just be like there is going to be a point where Disney Plus is just like gonna, non-stop. You've got a new Star Wars show. You got a new. Another. That's what they're slating themselves to just be permanently new Star Wars, new Marvel stuff yeah. coming out non-stop. And then they'll find another franchise. Yeah, and do that as well. With Indiana it. Jones. Indiana they'll Jones. just. They've yeah. got a lot. And yeah. all the Fox things now that they've got. Like, yeah. yeah, it'll be non-stop. Just new fucking content coming out. On we Disney could even Plus, be man. seeing like. I wouldn't be surprised if we see a Back to the Future TV show or something. Yes, yeah, like it's, it's just going to oh, be futuristic. But even touch you look at the you look at the slate. You look at the slate of oh, um, no, man. <laughs> but you look at the slate of bloody just the amount of Star Wars content and the amount of MCU content like that's enough to get them through five years yeah. now. like more oh, like yeah. it's going to be crazy Heaps. so yeah. you'll there'll be no it'll, it'll be like a must have streaming service basically yeah, yeah it will be mm. I, I just think that it'll piss off a fair few people yeah I mean it'll piss them off initially until they get it yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. But I mean, be, it's, yeah. it's not that expensive, Disney. Nah, has. yeah, no, I'm just saying. Nah, and you only need you know yeah. most families only need one or two uh, counts. I, I've got more. <laughs> I've pretty much got all of them except um. I hate that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I've got I've got pretty Do you much. Binge? No, I don't. Yeah. yeah, that's, that's the same as Fox. Um, I've got everything. Yeah, I've got them all. That's like, because I I would have sp- I would spend that much money on if yeah. I was not movies, subscribed. I'd be downloading through. things off iTunes anyway, so it works yeah. out for me. You know, like it works out cheaper yeah. for me. Yeah, well, if you go to the movies, it's like fifty yeah, bucks. Yeah, and money. I go to the movies all the time. I watch a lot of entertainment, so yeah. um, I I literally I do, and it's not expensive like compared to other yeah. things that people like i don't gamble i don't go yeah, to the club drinking every weekend and stuff yeah, you know yeah. so like it's, it's really like not that expensive of yeah. a hobby yeah well there's like i don't go buying cars Prime's all the like time you know bucks, like bucks, yeah. yeah yeah so it's like really realistically it's not expensive no. i think people just really? get funny about it because it's like a monthly sum but mm. it's what it's it's good quality stuff that you're gonna bring out like if, yeah. if you think about it our all three of us our expenses on the things we like are pretty low compared to 
Yeah, although what most people, I do buy a lot of gadgets all the time. Yeah, <laughs> you buy a lot of gadgets. Yeah. That's true, but and it's it's funny because people always like turn their noses up to video games. They're like, oh, it's so expensive, and it's like, well, really, these know. new consoles yeah. are still under a grand, mm. and like you know, that's you, that's really Why not that expensive in the and yeah. in, in the and for how long it's going to last. last. And yeah. then like it's not like yeah, even the games. Even the games, games like not, not, I'm trying to I'm not trying yeah. to knock other hobbies, but if you're into fishing. Like yeah. I, I like That's fishing expensive. myself, but I, yeah. to get right into fishing, that is That's so fucking expensive. expensive. Like, yeah. if you really want to get yeah. it, you're probably gonna have to buy a boat. You know, <laughs> like, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. like, and to get a good rod, like golf. How expensive is golf? Yeah, like, it's very it's expensive. How expensive yeah, is golf? Even, even I know. To get membership in the courses, it's yeah. a lot of money. Yeah. But people turn their noses up to like if you spend money on entertainment. That's yeah. that's where I want to spend yeah. my money. Like, I like to get into go karting. Oh man, that's you want expensive. You want expensive. You're a pro. Yeah, that's like that's going motorsport, man. You got to rebuild the engine and everything like that. Just everything, like everything goes wrong. Yeah. Everything yeah. goes wrong, and if you don't know how to do anything with an engine, yeah. Yeah. you better fucking learn yeah. quick. Yeah. Yeah, That's what I'm saying. Like, it's not. It's re- it's funny how people will turn their noses up to it, but Disney Plus, man, it's got there's a lot of good movies on it. Mm. Like, yeah. the, yeah, like the Marvel Universe alone something. would be enough worth the price of entry. Mm. Yeah. And, and they're still and, dropping. And you're getting it in 4K. Like, yeah, it's good. They're still dropping cool stuff now. I haven't seen it yet. Legends, but no, it's things like Soul. Oh, I haven't, yeah, seen I haven't watched it, it yet and, either. Yeah. And I watch it this week. While <laughs> yeah. I'm off, while I'm off this week, I, I've got time. I'm yeah, watch, watch it, it and then yeah. text me. Yeah, it's good. okay, fine. <laughs> Messenger me. But yeah, but stuff like that, they are still dropping their Disney yeah. animations with it. Yeah, and that's great. That's you, know, you want to see and, that as and, well. And after they learnt their lesson from that Mulan debacle, that that was just a joke. Oh, I haven't that, watched God, it. Yet. Have you seen have it? Learned their lesson. Who's that seen? left that left a bad taste in my mouth. I don't really want to watch it. You, oh, if wow. you're already subscribed to Disney Plus, yeah, you got premium, but you had to pay an extra thirty bucks to watch. Oh, really? But now it's free now, isn't it? Yeah. If you waited three months, but like that was so bad about it though. Like. I think the movie got panned. No, the it? idea of paying thirty dollars when you're already subscribed to a service—that yeah. is, that's exorbitant. That's already. That's, right, okay. But that's, I mean, yeah. is, that also, got, is that why I got panned, or the movie was crap? I think it was an Both. average movie, and they were like, "Why is it? Why are we paying thirty bucks? You wouldn't even pay this much at the movies." Okay. You know? Well, the movie like, yeah. didn't also have the antithesis meaning and point of what the original film right. had. I, didn't yeah. like the original I haven't movie. seen it, so I can't. You know. But I, I just know that I think that was bad practice. I didn't okay. like that. Yeah. Hmm. Um. Dan, man, we're on to you. Oh, yeah. Um, the great thing Declan said, I'm going to add a couple more things. Yeah. Um, I was going to add, when they went to colour, it looked like old school Technicolor. Did yeah, we notice? didn't even talk about that, did we? That was a very yeah. Wizard of Oz moment. Oh, yeah. the end, yeah. like the yeah. end moment? Yeah. yeah. It's just the colours they use. It's very that that um, that Technicolor look. Yeah. And she was Rando Prego as well. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that was weird too. Yeah. Yeah. Could that be a part of the Vision's idyllic family life moment? Yeah, yeah. maybe, maybe. Um, what else did I put in here? Or her idyllic family life moment. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, other than that, uh, oh, yeah, the the humor in it. There's a lot of adult humor in there. Yeah, there is. Yeah, yeah there is. And that's, oh. that's the one to add, yeah. Yeah. yeah but other than that, it's good. Um, are we ranking these or what are we doing? Um, I don't think we have anything to rank yet. Okay, so I think, yeah, I was going to say, let's do it at the end. I was yeah. thinking that because this this eventually will transition transition to being our series podcast, right? Is that yes? The way? So, so I was thinking that when we get, would we wait until we get to the end of the series to do MVPs and all that sort of thing and look back yeah, on it well, as a whole? Yes, and so, it'll just be more of a discussion as we I, go through. This I would time. say that this is more of a discussion piece, and then as we transition, because we go from we'll go from Die Hard to this as a show first. Yeah. yeah. And then we'll be doing movies on the Friday yeah. and this will take the Monday slot. That's At the right, moment, yeah. this will take the Friday slot. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, listeners, don't you like how we discuss our battle plan live? Oh, no, no, but That's I'm fine. saying no, this so that they, they, know, they, know. they know what's yeah. going to happen. That's yeah, what no. I'm doing. Because yeah. they'll be like, why is this two shows? Yeah, <laughs> yeah. So, this is the reason There's why. There's your ethnic voice again. <laughs> There's, I don't know. It's just my like... <laughs> it's like a wolf. I don't know. It's my like... <laughs> I don't know why it does what that. I don't know. know. It's a, I think it's an Aussie thing. I don't know. It's so bad. <laughs> well, it's, it's more like it's a really actually it's really bad because it's it, trying to yeah. interpret what the the listeners are saying, and it's, I'm not like yeah, don't no, think that they're yeah, like yeah, that. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I think they're intelligent. Yeah, <laughs> but yeah, as long as you're not a Trump supporter, it's just trying. <laughs> I'm not touching that. <laughs> no, leave it. Stuff them. <laughs> oh. Jesus Christ! Backward-minded people. Oh wow. my god! All right, good. Anyway, <laughs> that's what's going to be occurring with all of that type of thing. Can we get your opinion on the show? Yeah, the show. <laughs> so far. Okay, to answer your question, I'll get to it. I think okay. it's a fantastic show so far and it's good to see something different. And and it's not, well, it's not different. It's going back in the old days. It's just bringing something back and I think 
this formula, if they if they're going to go the direction I think they're going to go, is going to work really well. Yeah, mm. I agree. Yeah, yeah. It it definitely, as I said, the into uh, the inclusion of things that are very odd and mysterious mm. is a good direction for Marvel now. Yep. You know, they did they've dabbled in it with like um, Doctor Strange. They dabbled in it with Ragnarok. Mm. Yeah. Now just push yourself fucking into it. They yeah. can have Gar- lots they of fun. Guardians of the Galaxy, 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 Galaxy yeah, even dabbled a bit. Yeah. Fuck that. But they, they, and that was the more the character, second film. The yeah. characters they have now are not as straight down the line as Cap and Iron Man yeah. and everything. Mm. So they can't, yeah. like, this is like their chance to really, yeah. fuck. really have oh, fun. Oh, and there is a rumor that Captain America, um, what's his name again? Chris, it's uh, not a rumor. He signed a deal. Oh, yeah, that's right. Yeah, to appear in another movie. Oh, yeah, there you go. Yeah, so oh, he's really? Got yeah. potential to appear in more in yeah. the future. So. Yeah. That's cool. So that's pretty cool. I wonder if it's going to be something though, like the old... Old Man Cap or something like that. Yeah. Well, they reckon... I, I don't know too much about it, but... The, the, old Man Logan. Yeah. The chat is yeah. that they're building up Good to movie. Secret Wars for the next big Infinity War. Secret like War? Event, which oh. is like... Okay, a, which yeah, is yeah, like yeah. a um Another event. Which is like a multiverse. It's crazy. Yeah. If they do that, it's absolutely <laughs> batshit insane. <laughs> is it good though? Well, they've already done oh, it'd be It would be incredible, but I'm just like, in my head, I'm like, if they pull it off, Marvel yeah. will just like- they, they, They've so already I, done things that we've gone, that's batshit insane. I know, but Secret Wars know, is like yeah. multiverse yeah. and multiple versions of characters turn yeah. up and fight on this planet. It's so. crazy. <laughs> it's like, well, have you, there's have, like three Spider-Mans. Yeah. Have you read it though or- no, but I just not. I've seen there was in the Spider-Man cartoon in the '90s. He takes part in it, and then there's like Fantastic Four and every one of there. But we know in the next Spider-Man movie that they've Andrew Garfield and Tobey Maguire are coming yeah. back. So there's got to yeah. be something to it, right? Yeah. Like, oh, and then, that's and then cool. while that's happening, what's DC doing in the background? They've uh, got Michael Keaton. Yeah, Actually, wait, back they, 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 yeah. Did, they did Spider-Man into the Spider-Verse. That's again another. I, this is my thing. Was Spider-Man into the Spider-Verse a little tester? To see if they could get away with, yeah, to get away with doing the, best the multiple thing on a screen that they've ever made. I know, but that's what I'm saying. Like, <laughs> where they the like, Spider-Man let's movie. see our audiences react yeah. to this, and if it yeah. does well, we know we can get away get with away this. with it. Yeah, because mm. the fear would be confusion, yeah. right? They'd be like, "But wait a minute, why?" Because people get confused now when they go like, "So wait, so so like Andrew Garfield isn't in the Marvel movies," and it's like, "No, no," because he was like another version of Spider Man. People yeah. get confused by that, so. I wonder. I mean, anyone I who doesn't wonder, read comics is going to kind of get confused. Was this all planned from the beginning? Nah. No, I this d- is dude, something I don't think. Th- I think that they oh. made, they made the first Iron Man, and then they were like, "We're going to bring the Avengers together." And I think when they got away with bringing the Avengers together, then they were like, "They planned." Then it's all- been like, "Let's start." Lame. So it must have had because when did Kevin Feige get on board? He was Kevin Feige's been on board since they made Star. since they made the X Men movies mm. and the Spider Man movies. Oh really? Yeah, yeah. So he's he's got to have a plan in there somewhere. It has to be. Well, he, he's had his he's had his he's had his training ground. Like he's been there since day one, and he, he got to see what would work and what fails. And now he's and then he was like, look, we need to gre- get the Marvel properties that we own mm. and fucking use these because no one knows what they're I doing mean, with these properties properly. Like yeah. with with how important john favreau has been to star wars now yeah i will say that i think he had a lot more input no into these I'm movies not, and that's I not trying to take well. Feige. that's I, no i think no, favreau i think what john well i think what john favreau is good for and this is not a yeah. knock but this no, is what i think he's yeah. good for i think he is so good at creating something that is that is uh tangible to everyone yes and enjoyable but also lays foundations for so much in the future. And oh, yeah. he's so he's the most steady set of hands ever yeah. Yeah. to do that. And that's why I, the first two Iron Men are just like so good. really good films. And John Favreau yeah. is such a nice, easy set of hands. And he makes really likable movies. So and likeable. So when he got on with The Mandalorian, him and then he brought in Dave Filoni. Like that's, yeah, that's just right, the yeah. best move ever. And now Kathleen Kennedy's trying to jump in and act like yeah, she was enough. involved the whole time. Uh, Fuck she's, off. She's- <laughs> Oh, she's got to go. She's got to go, man. You've got to back up. She has to go. At the very least, back up. I'd never heard her speak about the man learning before. Like, it was like the unwanted child. And now all of a sudden, she's like, yeah, we did this and we did that. And I'm like, you, yeah. know, you were not involved. I don't think you were involved. <laughs> you were not involved. <laughs> yeah, I, I love this is not to- your I don't child. know. Like, I don't explicitly know, but I'd never heard her talk about it until it was a massive success. That's I'd love I'd- to be a fly on the wall with her with the whole Star Wars thing, man. I'm- I think she's and George she's, Lucas as well because I want to know what there's got to be something going on there. I George think, is back, back. He was on the set. He was on set for the second yeah, season. Yeah, but was he was he as a producer? Because I didn't, I can't remember he seeing. He was just the there as, as as a guest Consul- or consultant. But definitely, he would have been. Why consulting. wouldn't you let him on as a guest? Yeah. They let him do whatever the fuck. He have you wants. not heard? They wouldn't let him on set for the sequel movies, and they, he gave him when he sold Star Wars to him. He went, look, here's um. 
here's a broad outline of ideas. Yeah. My ideas for what the sequel, and they just yeah, chucked them out the window. I know that. Yeah, that's yeah. crazy. He created it. Why would yeah. you read it? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> it's uh, yeah. I think it it annoys me. Yeah, yeah. definitely yeah. that. I would, I would have loved to have just at the very least had the manuscripts given to the world of. Yeah. That, that would piss people off now yeah. because you know that everyone would be like, this is what we could have fucking heard. <laughs> yeah, know. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, that's what that would be like. But the thing is, is that at the moment, I think it's deserved for people and especially even George Lucas. It's deserved for him to give that to the world. Mm. But you see that Filoni and Favreau know, and same as Feige knows with Marvel, like they know, like Filoni has obviously- Thank you for taking us back to Marvel. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I was just thinking- Well, they're a part of the related. same- It's all related. Yeah. That's yeah. all related. Um, and it's like, a good discussion. Like Filoni- obviously has read a lot of the extra content and he knows the good characters. Like, mm. Thrawn has been a popular villain in the Star yeah. Wars world since those novels came out that were set between Empire Strikes Back and Return of the Jedi. Yeah. But yet, we've never, like, heard about it or anything like that. And then he's bringing him in to the mainstream. Yeah, it's crazy. To the point where everyone's going, like, who's this Admiral Thrawn that they're talking about? And who's like, that guy? He's... he's um, well, you, you, you haven't seen him yet. Yeah. Okay. You yeah, haven't seen him. He's in he? Rebels. He's... um. He was a naval. He was an imperial naval officer during the M- imperial reign. Yeah, they've changed his time period now with the new canon. But he's basically just like this, like calm, cool, collected, yep. lack of emotions, uh, military genius, yeah, strategist. He's a really and he's like cool character. So hard to beat. Like he's even Vader is intimidated by him. Yeah. Mm. So he outthinks everybody all the oh. time. Did you just go? Which you, you touched on Mandalorian for a sec. What's the bad guy's name in that again? Uh, Moff Gideon. Yeah. I felt like they sort of brushed him aside. Yeah, because they're making room for Thrawn. Mm. Ah, right. Okay. That's what Ahsoka Tano says. Where's Where's Thrawn? She's getting her own show too, I think. Yeah. Mm. So, that's what... But this is what I'm saying though. These guys that are taking on these Spoilies. things know the characters. Nah, it's well we done. do it everywhere. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Get ready. Um, yeah. And that's like... It's cool impact. You but, you see, like, but you can tell that... With, like Feige is the same and he knows these characters like you can you know he's read everything mm-hmm. because he's bringing in characters like Shang-Chi yeah. who I've never even fucking heard of I've got no idea who Shang-Chi is but he's getting his own movie isn't Shang-Chi one of the characters from Doctor Strange no he's a martial artist yeah, he's oh okay yeah. yeah, he's gonna be in that Eternals is that right no 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 he's getting no, his own movie he's Shang-Chi that's Shang-Chi what was and done the in Ten Sydney. Rings that's the one I got called on they were like hey you wanna work on this I'm like nah I'd pass well, should have done it. No, nah, it was on the it was the building the sets again. Oh yeah. Oh same. What's the what's the actor's name? I don't know. I don't know anything about it. That's the thing. I have. Oh, you want to know? Okay, all right. All right. Okay, you got to <laughs> fill the time then. <laughs> Come okay. on. Okay, where do you think where do you think this is this show Wonder Vision is going to go from here? I said earlier, I think there's going to do the House of M storyline, and I'm wondering if they're going to do a revert to bring the mutants in because now they have the rights. I'm wondering mm-hmm. if they're going to do a reverse. Yeah. And she's going to say something that changes reality and gives normal people powers mm. so going on to the mutant side do you think Wolverine will be if 100% done? Wolverine you reckon why wouldn't they bring he's one of the most popular yeah, characters ever but in I the history can't of comics see. oh it's just what's his name Hugh Jackman man he's freaking good man I know but he's one of the most popular characters yeah. ever in the history right. so okay if you ha- if you were a- if they do a multiverse thing though they could do some kind of funky uh, well, cameo could- of Hugh Jackman like <laughs> just making a little pop in or something he could pop up in a Deadpool movie or something you know yeah. like- that'd be so good alright so I got this here it's uh, it's actually an which is really cool it's an all Asian cast yeah, yeah the whole right. thing which yeah. is great they make um, fantastic movies that we hardly see man. yeah I know yeah. man that's something Korean I'd, movies are I would so love to do I'd love to do an eight week stint on this like podcast and do eight weeks of the best uh, Japanese Chinese film can yeah. we do can we this is a Korean film can we do yeah. can we do Parasite we did that. The Oscar. we, we did could do put it? that down did but I'd, do that? I'd love to do some old ones did we do that no we never did oh, okay All right, yeah. I'd love to do some old ones some like yeah. proper like you know something like between the 50s and seven, 80s. Seven Samurai. Yeah. Stuff like that. Do some really good ones like yeah. that. Yeah. Anyway. So I, I just think it won the Oscars, the first Korean like film of that, that culture yeah. to ever yeah. won the Oscar. Yeah. Like, yeah. It's pretty, pretty big. Um, Sim, Simu Lu. I'm probably butchering the name here. He's the he's Shang-Chi. Um, he's been in uh, several films. Uh, Taken, uh, Blood and Water, uh, Kim's Convenience. And the director of it is Destin Daniel Cretton. Um, uh, he's born in Maui, Hawaii. 
and doesn't we, seem like he's day. got <laughs> doesn't seem like he's got many credits to his direction name. He just did the film Just Mercy with um, Michael B. Jordan and Jamie oh, yeah. Fox yeah. and Brie Larson. I haven't seen that movie yet. Mm. The Glass Castle, but everything else underneath it is all shorts. Mm. So he went okay. straight from. They tend like, to give it to newer. They tend to give it to yeah. younger newer directors now mm. on the Marvel thing. I'd, I'd say both because they want a fresh. Yeah. Brain and also cheaper. <laughs> oh, yeah. We also so wrote Sam, those Sam, movies. Sam Raimi's doing uh, Multiverse of Madness, isn't he? The Doctor Strange sequel. Yeah. Yeah. How good is that? Yeah. Hey, I'm man. so keen for that. Do you remember when I said that if they add... Because he's like a horror director. So, yeah. that'd be cool. That's, that's my whole James well, Bond, Harry Potter thing. Well, most of... <laughs> but, I'm so glad. But most I'm so glad of, um, he's doing something again. Most of Doctor Strange in the comics takes place in um, the like the hell realm. Like an alternate... Oh, really? Yeah, this realm that's like... Mm basically hell and it has like all demon characters and things like that so yeah, i only I'm, read the first doctor strange comic so i wonder i, it. It I wonder if that's where this movie goes yeah so yeah. well he's doing the doctor strange one and he's also doing if anyone does know this because it's a book series but it's fantastic uh the king killer chronicles i've heard of that yeah far it's so good the, which, which sam raimi's doing that so uh, oh, i just if he can whip that out and do that properly, that's going to be mm. mint. Mm. More Sam Raimi in this world, please. I, we don't get enough of his stuff these days. Mm. The last movie, proper movie he did was Oz the Great and Powerful in 2013. Yeah. Mm. It's too long ago. Yeah. Glad to see him back. What's that sick horror he did? Um, yeah, Drag, Drag Me, me to, to Hell. Hell. I just love it. There's some scenes where the camera is just, it's like perfectly... It's so Balanced, ridiculous and that then movie. it just pulls in and then it just slowly twists it's like oh fuck that's good well, the, the, the scene where like the scene <laughs> the where house, the, the, you see the shadows on the yeah, wall and yeah. stuff oh so good the scene where the old lady though like the Baba Yaga type of lady yeah like opens her mouth yeah and like slobbers on her chin yeah you, you haven't seen Over Dickler no it's you wouldn't like it yeah uh, this is like it's the type of film like, you're like challenge me <laughs> <laughs> no, but he's, no it's he's like a good it's director, gory yeah. gross yeah it's not that doesn't like, bother me though but no the, he, he creates dread in the way in the way it's shot the way he talks with his cinematographer it's really good man it's i don't sick. know man this that movie there is very much so like how much goop can we put on people yeah, i like it. it's cool anyway it's fun um yeah what i think of this show i think it was good like i really enjoyed it i enjoyed it with my girlfriend uh, we had a great time, you know? and now we're all about wow about the mystery of where we're going with this. Oh my God, <laughs> you filth! Um, but yes, we're you're right. Yeah, I'm right. <laughs> you broke yourself. That's mine. <laughs> so happy with yourself. <laughs> yeah, I know. <laughs> <laughs> right, yes, I'm. I'm looking forward to more of yeah. When's the More next one drop? Friday? Is it Friday? Yeah, I think so, yeah. Be the same Friday. as me. It's taken the slot of the Mandalorian. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Cool. Yeah. So I'm keen for that. I think we wrap it up. Yep. Yeah. Um, we just did the first two episodes, reviewed the first two episodes of WandaVision, and we'll yeah. see you next week for the third episode. I'm Reese. I'm Dan. I need a laughter track in my life. I'm Declan. Well. <laughs> and uh, you have a that good week. That was a can response. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> and you have a good week. Respect.